I'm a huge fan of Rolalo. They have produced some really cool RC cars. The only problem is they have been struggling lately with some shipping issues. And even though their products are really cool, they have started to become a slightly controversial, cheaper RC brand. Now I'm not gonna go into their failures too much because we're here to see their brand new crawler. But those of you out there, you already know what I'm talking about. Now apparently there was only 10 review samples available. And of course I have been lucky enough to get one of these. So let's do it then, let's take a look at Rolalo new giant one seventh scale crawler. So here it is, this is what you've been waiting to see for so long. This is Rolalo's brand new MK07. Now this thing is one seventh scale and it is absolutely enormous. And you can see there just how big the MK07 really is. So the MK07 is obviously gonna be a serious competitor for the SCX6. More details about this truck will be released soon and we'll know exactly how much it's gonna cost. But I'd like to think it will definitely be cheaper than the SCX6. Although being a Rolalo, I don't think it's gonna be as cheap as some people have been mentioning. Now let's talk about styling first of all then. Now of course this is based on the Jeep Wrangler and of course the body on this is Jurassic Park inspired. Although I'm not sure about dinosaur age, I don't know, I think they could have come up with something slightly better. So taking a look on the outside, of course this thing has some really cool scale details, including the wing mirrors, the snorkel, it also has windscreen wipers and it is really wet today and you can see they do kind of work. We've also got a really big roof rack up on top, a ladder on the side. I think Rolalo have done a good job with the styling and it does look like it's come straight out of Jurassic Park. We're gonna get back to the car in a moment, but first we need to take a look at what we get in this giant box. So of course we get the truck itself, and when it comes out the box, it doesn't have any decals applied, so you do have to fit those yourself. Here we have the Rolalo CT-8A transmitter. This is eight channels, and it does have a lot of features. I actually reviewed this on my channel a little while ago, and for the money, they're actually really good. Here's a closer look for you. You do get a thumbstick. You've also got a foam grip on the wheel, and this is really cool. You can actually run this off of four AA batteries, or you can do what I've done and use a small lipo battery and i think this is from one of my old high boxing cars this is a 1600 milliamp hour 2s and it fits in there perfectly so let's switch this on so i've now got this switched on and even though i've set the screen brightness to 100 percent it is still difficult to see in the daylight now the buttons that you do see on this do control the locking diffs and the lighting setup and also the two-speed transmission and it is quite complex on this, but I am going to try and show you a bit later. Here we have a mounting bracket if you want to fit a full-size spare to the rear, and you can do so using this. Here we have the black and white manual, which is slightly confusing. But the good news is there are exploded diagrams at the back and a list of all the parts. Back to the truck then, now let's talk about some of the chassis features. And to do this, we're gonna have to remove the body. So there's two body clips down here that you remove, and then it's a simple case of doing this. How cool is that? Now this does have a very complex lighting system, as you can see, but it is all tucked away nicely inside. Now I know you wanna see it in action, which is why we're gonna speed through the chassis features as quick as possible. So this does have metal frame rails, metal oil field adjustable shocks, a nice large battery tray. Now this does feature solid front and rear axles and you can lock and unlock the diffs. 
So underneath on the rear, we have a four link suspension setup, three link on the front. These metal skids look really cool. Now it is worth noting these skid plates are actually an optional extra. Of course, all the upgrade parts will be available on the Rilalo website. Now I think these are an optional extra, but these are fitted because this is a review sample. Now this does have plastic drive shafts and they don't really look that thick. That has surprised me a little bit. Now this has an enormous 90 millimeters of ground clearance. The tyres feel really soft and sticky and they are mounted on plastic wheels. Now you can't really see it because the battery tray is in the way but this does feature an all metal gearbox. So let's talk about the electronics. Now we have a 40 kilogram steering servo, giant brushed motor. Now there is also a brushless version available as well. Now I do want to clear one thing up. This is definitely a brushed motor, not a brushed motor. Typical Rilalo spelling. But just look at the size of the thing. Now this is a motor you would see in a 1 temp scale car and just look at the size of it in comparison. That thing is absolutely huge. Finally, we have a 120 amp ESC and I can't confirm it yet, but I think it may be 4S ready. Now this is where things start to get complicated because this thing has four servos which control the locking differentials, the two wheel drive and four wheel drive mode, and of course the speed settings. Now I'm probably gonna get this all wrong, but if we hit the A button on the transmitter, that locks the front diff. The C button locks the rear diff. The B button controls the LED lights, and I don't think the D button does anything. This button down on the side controls our two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive settings. So there we have front-wheel drive selected only. Switching it back to the centre, we have four-wheel drive. And then all the way over to the right should give us rear-wheel drive. That's pretty cool. So let's try locking and unlocking the front diff. It's unlocked at the moment. If we hit the A button, that should be locked. Yes, it is. Finally, we have the two speed settings. Now that is low speed. Let's switch to high speed. Yeah, all very cool. I do really like the hinge system on the body. Let's get the body back on and take a look at the LED lights. Now I could be sensible, but this is the best way to do it. Right, next up, let's have a look at the LED lights. Now, of course, I'm out in the daylight, but I have tried to adjust the camera settings to make it more visible. So turning to the right, of course, we have turn signals and to the left. Now, if we turn to the right twice really fast, that should activate the hazard warning lights. There we go. Hitting right twice again should turn those off. Now this does have quite a lot of settings when it comes to the front LED lights. We're gonna hit the B button on the transmitter and see what happens. So there we have our headlight switched on. Now if we cycle through all the different settings and then I'll show you the rear. So I'm just hitting the B button on the transmitter and there we have all of the front LED lights active. Hitting the B button again. There we have a little bit of RGB. Is this something you need on a scale crawler like this? Maybe not, but it's still a nice feature to have, I guess. There we have our police lights. Maybe you fancy chasing some criminals in a Jurassic Park inspired crawler. So this is all very cool. Let's move over to the rear. So on the back, of course, we've got reversing lights and indicators once again. We've got two more lights which have now come on on the rear bumper, but I think that is pretty much it. Now, if I've missed anything, I do believe the full spec will be available on the Rilalo website this evening. So head over to Rilalo after watching this video, and I'm pretty sure the prices will also be released as well. So how fast does this actually go then? Now we are in low gear, that is full throttle. We have to remember this is a big heavy truck on 3S, that is full throttle, low gear. How cool does that look? Moving up, let's switch to high gear. Well, that's definitely increased speed a little bit. Now that little bit of extra speed will definitely come in handy if you do decide to take this to a crawler course. Moving from one obstacle to the next will be a lot easier having that extra speed. So next up, we need to see how this will perform off-road. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to a place which kind of replicates where this vehicle would have been used. And in the film, of course, it would have been used in the jungle. Now for this bit, I'm gonna stay quiet and I'm gonna let you enjoy the truck. And then at the end, we'll summarize and have a little chat.
So there we go then guys, that was the brand new Relalo MK07. Now this did perform great and this was the perfect location to test this kind of truck. Now depending on price, I think this could be a solid option instead of going for the SCX6. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna cost around 600 pounds, which is almost half the price of the SCX6. I think it will depend on how much of a crawler fan you actually are. Performance wise, the brushed electronics on this felt really strong and that big bad motor was full of torque. I mean, this thing was climbing up some pretty steep inclines. One of my favorite things about this truck is the suspension setup. It's just silky smooth and it was going over some very chunky tree roots with ease. I just hope Rolalo can sort out some of their issues because they are a good company and they do listen to what their customers want. I think sometimes they just take on a bit too much. Now the good news is they are skipping pre-orders on the MK07. That has caused problems in the past. So let me know in the comment section what you think of the MK07. Would you buy one of these? And if not, why not? Cheers for watching. See you on the next one. Take care.